Hello and welcome to another edition of Resources for Life TV at resourcesforlife.com. My name is Greg Johnson and this is uh, basically a brief video test of the iPhone 4 using the um, display side camera which is uh, a 640 by 480 camera and um, it's uh, in very low lighting. I had a moderately low lighting video posted earlier but this one is extremely low lighting. It's nighttime. Because I'm not using the uh, front facing, I'll call it, the front facing uh, high definition video camera, I don't have the optional benefit of the LED lighting. So this is entirely uh, dependent on appropriate lighting levels set by the video camera based on ambient light. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, move the camera up to the sky and you can see um, it's evening and it's overcast so I'm just going to swivel this a little bit and uh, we actually had kind of a stormy sky today. It's kind of interesting how the light metering of this video camera can adapt intelligently to whatever is the subject of the video and uh, that's what I've been noticing. I'm pretty impressed with that so it's really, for me, picked up the capabilities of the video camera and my ability to produce videos in low light conditions. One thing I like about using, well actually there are a lot of advantages to using the display side camera. One is that relatively short videos, uh, say 5 to 10 minutes, can be um, you know, 150, 200, 250 megabytes in size. If you use the high definition camera, your videos are going to end up being like 700 megabytes for a 9 minute to 10 minute video for YouTube. So much smaller file size on these videos. Also it gives you the advantage of seeing what you're taking a, a video of if you're you know, videotaping yourself, video recording yourself. Um, which uh, if you're using the high definition camera that's on the other side of the iPhone 4, you don't really get, a, get an idea of how you're framed in the camera or uh, what the light metering is looking like. And here you can make slight adjustments. So I'm seeing the display uh, in real time. I can, you know, uh, choose to set the light metering for the sky behind me just by touching on the display. And that's kind of a cool effect. There you can see the light metering is adjusting to those clouds. Or I can touch on the tree that's t over my right shoulder here and the light metering immediately adjusts to uh, you know, the best lighting for that tree in the background or I can just kind of touch on my face and I'm using my thumb to do that. Um, I can touch on my face to get the best focus and light metering for my face in whatever conditions, even nighttime. And even if there's light behind me, like you can see the street light, I'm going to go ahead and you know, touch on that. Um, I can just touch on my face again and regardless of the backlighting, whether it be dark or bright, it will balance the lighting based on uh, the best conditions. So um, anyway, using the display side camera, you can see how you're framed in. You can more effectively, when you're videotaping yourself, you can more effectively set the light metering and it also creates smaller file sizes, which ultimately, you know, if you're just talking to people and uploading to YouTube, that's about all you need. Now I'm getting into uh, some really dark shaded area here, so we're bound to get some, probably some degradation of video quality, what's called noise in video or still photo lingo. And uh, anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up. One other point I've noticed is when I'm looking at myself in the display, I tend to be looking off camera, right, or off center axis of the camera. So you kind of have to be conscious uh, consciously looking into the uh, camera itself to be looking at the viewer, you know, to kind of be looking the viewer in the eye. You have to look at the small camera that's just to the left of the earpiece on the display side of the iPhone 4. So anyway, uh, but if you look at the display then it's sort of as if you're making a video and you're talking to somebody who's off camera like uh, for an interview or something. But um, that's basically it for now. Uh, just again, I'm really impressed with the light metering, I'll show you the night sky here. I'm going to go ahead and touch the sky so the camera will adjust to the sky behind me. And you can see how dark it is outside without any supplemental lighting. 
video camera is able to compensate. It's pretty amazing. I mean, it almost looks like daytime right now behind me and even uh, my face. So that's about it for this video. I'm going to try to keep these short and focus on specific topics and aspects of the iPhone 4 video capabilities so that people can quickly and easily find just the details they need without having to surf through a lot of video they don't need. So if you have any other questions or want me to post some videos on any topics, uh, just let me know. Send a uh, text response, video response, email, or you can get in touch with me through the resourcesforlife.com website. Take care.